after we've made a calibration, we know all the parameters of the camera rig. So we know exactly which rays of light, like what angles that comes in, that the light comes in to, through the lens. We know how that correlates where, where that ray of light hit the image sensor. And this allows us to have uh, to make calibration once for a camera rig. And then you don't have to redo that calibration unless you change the lenses or you change around the cameras. Then you need to recalibrate because the optical characteristics of the lens of the rig has changed. So if you reset focus and recalibrate, if you remove a camera and then attach it, you need to recalibrate. But if you're just moving the camera rig from location to location, you do not need to recalibrate. So looking at our automatic stitching, what we do is we analyze the contents of the images and we find similarities in these images. And we do this in a geometric way. So if, if we are looking over there, for example, then we will see uh, some things in this camera and we will match that with, other, with the same thing in this camera and then we will regenerate a geometry that matches what we see. And we do this in real time. So let's look at stitching in Voices VR producer. So stitching is accessed uh, on a stitch video entity. You go, you, there is a stitching menu, and this is where the options for the stitch are. So first of all, you have the blend, uh, where you can see now there is a sharp line uh, where we have the blend zones, uh, or you can add a lot of blend, which will blend in um, the whole stitching region. You can also uh, select the type of the stitch. Uh, Sphere is mainly for test purposes, um, um, but you now uh, pre-selected one is GPU Auto, or you can uh, switch to CPU Auto. And, and in this case, we, we do have a bit of a difficult situation with this table, which is very close to the camera here. Uh, and you can see that uh, GPU Auto uh, makes a, uh, in my in my opinion, GPU Auto makes a better job uh, of, of doing the automatic stitching in this case. The GPU algorithm also has options for the minimum distance where it's going to find and the maximum distance. And this is something that you may want to tweak. So in, let's say you're in a situation where you're working with things that are very far from the camera, then you may want to make the minimum distance larger. Uh, or if you're working with things that are very close, then you may want to decrease the maximum distance. Speed here is an indication of how fast uh, the algorithm will be. So if you have a very, if you have a moving camera, or you have lots of people work, uh, walking uh, around the camera, then you will want to increase the speed. Whereas if you have a very stable scene, you may want to decrease it. One thing that we are very proud about in Voices VR Producer is the ability to add manual adjustments to an automatic stitch. So you go in under manual geometry adjustment, and then you can. Let's say I have this uh, tube up in the ceiling here, and uh, our automatic algorithms uh, matches very well with, uh, with the ceiling uh, behind the tube, but there is a bit of a stitching error on the tube itself because it has such a large Z depth, it sort of protrudes from the ceiling. So what I can do is I want to, let, let's say I want to fix this. Then I go in under manual geometry adjustment, under stitching, I add an um, uh, adjustment region, and then I, for, I click twice, so, so, so uh, let me do that again. Add adjustment region, click once where you want the region to begin, again where you want the region to end, and then you get a distance here. And playing with this distance, you can then tweak the stitch in the local area. So now I think it looks perfect. You, this uh, edge blend here is how sharp uh, the edges of this region are. So if you want it, uh, usually the, the default value is good, but if you have something, we have something that is very, very sharply protrudes from the background, then you may want to decrease the edge blend here. And this allows you to make overrides to the automatic stitching. So, if, uh, but you, when you do this, you lock the override. So, if you select a region and you make um, uh, a manual adjustment then the automatic stitching will no longer be, uh, touch this region. So it's like first, first the automatic algorithms work and then the override. You can go in and say, no, I don't want to trust the, the auto. In this region, I want to make the, this manual be the thing that I get. And then you will get that. 
Now, uh, a lot of people are talking about optical flow stitching, and it's actually quite similar to what we do here, uh, but the algorithm is a bit uh, different, and uh, this is the Adnan algorithm that we have developed uh, uniquely for Voice of the Your Producer, and we are quite proud of it. So now that we made a calibration and we're happy with that, what we could go look at is we could uh, set the gains for the whole overall scene, uh, which uh, you can see here tweaks the color of it. Uh, we can also go in and set the individual uh, channels if we want to do that. And then we can also work with color synchronization. Now in this case, the colors are actually looking very, very good. It's hard to tell where the stitch lines are just by looking at the colors. But in some cases, when you're working with GoPro cameras, for example, this will be uh, a big issue. So then we have automatic color synchronization, uh, which automatically uh, adapts the colors of the individual cameras based on what it looks like in the stitch line. And you can also go in and, and set a point where, uh, let's say that I wanted uh, to make this point the exact same color in, in, the, in camera one and camera two, I can, then I can add a color synchronization point there, and this is where it will um, evaluate that. So you can see we have camera or semi order point one, which is syncing camera one and camera two. And if you feel really brave, then you can go in and you can set the individual gain adjustments per camera. So in this case, I'm actually going to turn off the color sync and reset all the camera gains because I think it looks pretty good as per default. So that was uh, some words about stitching uh, and uh, automatic and uh, manual overrides in Voices Video Producer. Thank you.